Hi everybody, PJ here and today we're going to look at, once again, the FT70D but this time we're going to program it with the ADMS software. So uh, let's get it plugged in and let's show you how, it can be a little bit complicated, how to uh, connect this radio to your PC. Okay, so we've got the uh, software open on my laptop. So what we're going to do now is connect the radio to the laptop. Now, I have the power supply plugged in and I have the cable, cable. <laughs> I have the cable uh, connected to the USB port. So what I need to do is turn the radio on. In fact, let's uh, let's have a look at the uh, instructions where it says communication. It says get data from uh, PC. So it says. Uh, Connect, press and hold the power button for over one second to turn it on, which we've done. While the power is on, disconnect the AC adapter. So we're going to do that. Oh, <laughs> something I forgot to tell you. You need to take the battery off. So, uh, make sure the battery's off. Right, so here we go. We're going to uh, power it on. So we're powered on. We're going to unplug the power supply. Press the AMS button. Reconnect the power supply and it goes into ADMS. Now the next thing I need to do is to go to communications, let's just cancel that, go to communications, COM port, COM port 6 and click on determine and now we need to press the band button, hang on, press the band button and press OK. And there we go, everything is downloading. Right, let's get onto the software then and have a look. So we close that, and that's what I've got programmed in at the moment. Okay, so put the radio down and we'll go onto the screen now. Okay, so if you can hear a little bit of banging in the background, the people next door are knocking the kitchen about. Right, so here we have some of the frequencies that I've already uh, inputted. What we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to have a look my radio going mad. We're going to have a look at settings. There we go. Right. Let's have a look and we'll see what um, or how I've set this up. I've set it so it turns off after three hour uh, beep and everything else I've left alone. More or less all of these things I've left alone. Okay, so PPT delay, etc, etc. If I press the P button once, I get the voltage. And if I press and hold, I get RX mode. But most of this stuff I've left alone. Uh, I've put my call sign in, M7IMI. A couple of spaces MPJ, so people know my name. Uh, but other than that, I've more or less every, left everything else alone. Okay. Uh, you can put banks in and I've just put one bank in local and that's all I've done right so that's the settings one thing I did find was that um, when I put these frequencies in I had AMS on and I found that um, some of these digital stations were like this one here we're flicking onto FM or analog uh, all the time, and I had to mess about changing uh, changing it from uh, analog to digital. So I will leave AMS off. If I want it on, I put it on on the radio. I've got one there that's on, and I'm actually going to turn that off. Okay. Uh, I think the problem is is that I've got other radios around. I was transmitting on on analog. And it was, uh, with them being really close, 
it was fl flicking the digital channels onto analog. So uh, for me, leave AMS off. You can always put it on on the radio if you want. To program it, all I did was uh, go on to um, repeater book and just copied one thing in at, at a time. So let's just move along here a little bit. And you see I've got everything set to high. Oh, I've got a couple set in bank too. That's for, uh, they're the Durham repeaters for when I go to uh, Durham. So I can swap the bank and just have those two channels there. I've got all the, uh, the names in there. That's my GoPro turning off. Okay, so uh, I've got all the names programmed in there. So let's have a look at uh, program or programming a channel. So I am going to be using uh, repeater book. Let's just shrink that down. So you can see what I'm doing. And let's pick one that we've not got in already. So we're going to put this one in balls over. So I'm going to click on the frequency here. And it's going to give me all the details. Right, so my uplink is 433.2. Double click it so it highlights it. Right click, copy. And then I'm just going to put it in there and paste. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the offset frequency in rather than the uplink frequency. So we've got an off offset of plus 1.6. So we're going to go plus, and then we're going to go to 1.6. And there we go. So that information's in. We've got an uplink tone of uh, 71.9. So we're going to put that in as well. So tone of 71.9. There we go. And now we're going to put the call sign in. So all we're going to do is uh, double click. Copy. Click in there. And paste. And that's it. So we've got the uh, receive frequency, the transmit frequency, the offset frequency. It's plus. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave AMS off. It saves all my problems. It is analog. I've got the call sign in. I've got my tone. And I've got uh, 71.9. And there we go. That's everything I need. It's all done. Right, so what I need to do now is upload this back to the radio. So to upload to the radio, I've still got ADMS on the radio, as you can see. I'm going to go to Communications, Send Data, and this time I'm going to press and hold the Mode button and then click OK. And that should send everything to my radio. And there we go. So I've just updated the radio. Now the hardest bit is remembering, first of all, to take the battery off. And, uh, and then actually getting the radio connected to the computer. Once you've kind of figured that out, the programming is just more or less the same as any other software. So I'm going to turn that off. Turn it back on. And there we go. It's in. Sorted. And there we go. That's how we program. This fantastic little radio. This little uh, 70D. On the computer. I did show you on a previous uh, video how to do it by hand. Now you know how to do it on a computer. Like I said the hardest bit is actually getting the radio connected to the uh, computer once you've got that kind of sorted the software is more or less the same as any other programming software 
it's not particularly difficult. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Sticking it in front of my face again. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. subscribe. <coughs> Put my teeth in. Please subscribe. And I'll see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.